Welcome, this is Howard Clark for the Catamaran Company and we are going to do a walk around of a 2010 Admiral 38 Executive. This is a three cabin boat, it's in great condition, let me show you all the features. This Admiral certainly feels bigger than its 38 foot length would suggest the living space and the entertaining space is really exceptional. So for someone that's looking for their first catamaran, maybe upgrading from a monohull, looking to get into the Caribbean cruising lifestyle or just something to sail out the weekends, this is a really versatile boat. It's not overly big, it's easy to manage and, uh, and it really ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Now this boat crossed from South Africa to the US and has been cruising down through the Bahamas and Caribbean ever since. So uh, these are uh, um, very capable ocean crossing boats. The Admiral 38 has just a little bit less than three feet of draft. Uh, so if you're cruising in those shallow areas, if you're in the Bahamas and want to snuggle up close to the beach, uh, I don't think there's going to be any boats anchored in front of you. This boat's fitted with an engine driven water maker. It's an Ecotech. Uh, these are really uh, well built quality units, solid performers. In the cockpit table, there's a neat little feature. There's a cooler ice box here. It's a very good use of space that you don't often see. The helm's normally covered. Uh, this blue cover is multifunction. You can either take it off completely. Uh, it slides out so you could take it completely off the helm if you wanted, uh, or you can actually use the boat with uh, part of it actually covered up as well. Uh, navigation equipment's Raymarine. And there's a ram mic here at the helm for the VHF. The life raft at the moment is just being stored under the table but there is a proper bracket for this on the uh, aft uh, crossbeam just by the port side steps. The factory davits keep the dinghy nice and high and there's a Weber grill gas one plumbed into the gas supply here on the starboard side. The cockpit roof has nice sunshade so you can drop those down and keep the sun out, especially in the afternoons when the sun's going down. That's great to try and keep the boat cool. Up on the top of the cockpit roof, there are six solar panels. These are 90 watt panels giving you 540 watts in total. The stack pack or sail bags in great condition. The main cell is fitted with the Harken back car system. If you're not familiar with it, it's an excellent system. It really makes hoisting that sail easy and also dropping it down as well. Some systems uh, you can't uh, easily reef the sail if there's any pressure on it, but that Harken back car system makes life so much easier. Windows and hatches are covered with uh, screen material to help keep the heat out. There's two extra cleats on the front crossbeam and these definitely come in handy. And the trampolines are in great condition. There's a nice walkway between the trampolines, makes it easy uh, to get up to the roller furler or if you need to do anything with the anchor or picking up a mooring. The distinctive shades over the front windows, the anchor windlass and two forward lockers. This one carries uh, the water and there's water tanks in here for the main boat, extra canisters as well. And on the mast there's the winches for your main halyard and your reefing lines. The engines on this boat are Yanmar 3YM30s. Uh, about 3,000 hours. They've got the Yanmar SD20 sail drives and uh, flexifold two-bladed propellers. The windlass on this boat is a Lumar H3. There's a foot controller 
here on the deck and a uh, remote panel uh, to operate it from the helm. The mast is by Sparcraft, this boat is fitted with a boom vang and a Harken roller furling system. This boat benefits from having a custom sun cover, uh, not only covers up most of the salon and uh, the forward cabins, uh, but also channels the air through so when the hatches are open it really sends a huge amount of breeze through the boat, keeping everything nice and cool. This starboard side locker has some extra fuel cans, the main fuel tank is also in here. That little stainless deck fitting is the fuel filler on this side, there was a water one just on the other side as well. There's a nice handrail here for when you're walking along the side of the boat. And there's your winch here at the helm. Here's another look at the helm. And uh, the helm has a uh, Raymarine Evo autopilot. Uh, it's a C90W chart plotter. Raymarine ST60 wind depth and tri data, ICOM ICM422 VHF radio, Raymarine P70 autopilot control head, and an AIS Class B transceiver. Heading inside the salon is a pleasant place to be. There's lots of natural light coming in through the big windows. The light coloured wood and cabinetry gives the boat a very modern look. There's a nice U-shaped seating area. Heading across into the galley, this is an open workspace, well thought out, double stainless sink here with a, um, a new tap. Is a uh, waste bin built into the work surface, storage under the sink, isotherm fridge and freezer. This is the freezer, it's turned on, it's super cold in there. They're making some ice. Fridge again works fine, good quality unit, ice cold beers in there. The stainless hob and oven in good condition. The nav station, very neat, organized area. All the panels look to be in great condition light switches, power outlets on here, your 12 volt and your 230 volt systems are here. Heading down into the starboard side hull, this is the owner's side of the boat. There's a double bed here in the aft cabin. Opening hatches to let the breeze through the boat. Plenty of cubby holes. And in this locker, we've got one of the main electrical panels. All the manuals for all the equipment on the boat stored in here. In 
in this compartment we're going to find the six Trojan 105 batteries these were replaced in 2019 so they should still be in good shape there's uh, extra extra cabling if you wanted to extend this uh, battery bank and add some extra batteries in here you could easy access is uh, into this locker from above which is actually under the seating in the main salon Many of the doors have this vented screen on the front as well as looking nice. It also allows air to circulate through the cupboards to help keep your clothes that you've got stored nice and fresh. Heading into the owner's bathroom, this has an electric toilet, single sink here, mixer head and shower, storage compartments up ahead of you, opening hatches with mosquito screens, extra storage. Again these cupboards are vented at the bottom just to keep them fresh inside. extra storage behind the head here. Admiral really did go above and beyond hunting out every extra bit of storage that they could find to provide you with, uh, with enough places for all your things. Steps are easy to navigate, handle on the left hand side here, back up into the salon, storage underneath the table, more storage underneath the chairs, and the top of the table I can't lift it up because it's such a good fit but there's actually a cover here that not only keeps the, the top of the table looking nice but you can actually put your charts underneath here so that you can work on them without them blowing around allows you to become familiar with where you are or where you're heading. Heading down into the port side we're going to find two cabins, a single bathroom in between them, plenty more storage. Again you can see how nice and shiny all the all the gel coat is down here. into the aft cabin again another double the same as it was on the owner's side more storage, power outlets, small little seat and then let's head back and have a look at the bathroom. Single sink, storage underneath, mirror, towel rail and your manual toilet. Shower drain is there in the middle. And some light and ventilation just above you.
behind the door is the control panel for the Ecotec Watermaker. Uh, the controls, there's a low pressure here, the high pressure switch is here. This is your pressure adjustment. This tells you the flow that the uh, pump is making and then you've got your bypass and uh, water tank switch. Everything's hidden in this locker here, with two membranes at the bottom there and the water pumps and a water filter to make things taste nice. It's a nice, neat, clean install. This green canister here is actually the, the bottom of the waste bin that is just above here in the work surface. The salon speakers you just saw up on the wall there and there's some extra storage compartments before we head back up into the salon. So that pretty much concludes our walk round of the Admiral 38 Avatar. If you'd like to know more about this boat, visit www.catamarans.com, search for the boat name Avatar, and you'll find the full specs of this. So this is just really to give you a little bit more uh, than what's in the listing, just to show you exactly what it is, and, uh, and just to give you a good understanding of the condition of the boat and, uh, and some of its, its cool features. If you'd like to see more pictures of Avatar, then send me an email, howard.clark at catamarans.com. If you want to catch up with all our videos, then click on the subscribe and click on the notification bell, so you'll see all the new boats that we're listing uh, and making videos for. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. This is Howard Clark for the Catamaran Company here in Grenada, so you guys have a great day.